When I say give it a second, I mean give it a minute. Okay, that did it. Alright, I'll shut it down when we're done. Okay. No, that should be good. The slides for the presentation are up on uh, or the link to it is up on Lane you can. And it should have a should give you access to view of now. Okay. All right. Well I guess we'll get started now. Welcome, uh Kiltura video. It's uh to speak to the mic. Speak to the mic now. Yes. So the, my, my voice projects and everything, and it'll be okay. The right, yeah. okay. Yes. I don't like to stand. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something like that. There we go. So that way, if I actually like. Pull it out. Can you just oh, yeah, that's true. It's that's getting true. your audio. I can see your audio. Okay. All right, good. <laughs> I, I have a teacher voice, so it doesn't <laughs> actually record from the use, it just picks up. It just picks up from the webcam, but I yeah. can see it's picking up your audio. Okay, good. Cool. Thank you. All right. Well, welcome uh, to uh, Kaltura Video Integration in Sakai. Uh, just a few words uh, about Unicon. Um, as you know, we're a, we're a service provider for a lot of open source projects, uh, mainly Sakai, uPortal, CAS, uh, SHIB, um, Grouper. Or Drupal and uh, a bunch of other uh, other things. So, and we're also a period. Um, just a quick uh, quick little introduction about uh, who Aaron and I are. Um, Aaron is a software architect at Unicon. He's been there a few years. What four? Uh, yeah, about four years. About four. So. About four years. But he's uh, been uh, around the Sky Project since 2004. So ten years now. Um, he's uh, pretty much on all the uh, important uh, committees, PMC, the core release team, and whatnot. So he's a uh, he's a uh, pretty knowledgeable. Um, I've been around the Sakai project since about 2006. Um, I'm a member of the, the core team. Um, I sit on the PMC sessions um, and whatnot. So and I've uh, I'm also uh, pretty knowledgeable. I've been the system administrator, developer, whatnot for Sakai. Uh, for Sakai at previous uh, universities before Unicon. I've been with Unicon about two years now. We both come from a higher ed background. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We both come from a higher ed background, which helped us transition and uh, for Unicon's uh, higher ed uh, Sakai, Sakai offer. So, uh, just what is Kaltura exactly? Kaltura is a great uh, open source uh, uh, media host. Uh, um, I would say they uh, they host videos, videos, pictures, audio, whatnot. Uh, if you contract with them, um, they'll host it on their servers. It'll be hosted um, and whatnot. So it basically removes the need for you to store videos and pictures, all media on your Sakai instance, or either the database or uh, on a file or on a file system. They'll do that for you. Um, essentially. Um, Essentially, it just takes that load off of like your Sky server, and uh, and it has the ability to uh, host it remotely, um, right? So your Sky server is not having to you know um, work so hard to serve up video files and whatnot. So, and uh, and obviously Sky, if you're here, you kind of have a general idea what Sky is. Um, essentially, what Unicai we did was we created a uh, a kind of an integration for you. Um, to bring uh, Kaltura videos and things into your Sakai instance seamlessly, you know, so that way it looks like your the, the media is actually part of your Sakai instance when it's actually hosted on a on a Kaltura server. Uh, notable Kaltura integrations: um, you have WordPress, Moodle, Drupal, Joomla, uh, Blackboard, SharePoint, and of course Sakai. Um, the project status, um, it's, uh, we don't have a lot of new uh, things per se, new features, but, uh, but they have been solidly improving. We've been improving the features over the last year um, since uh, the last conference, since our last uh, 
the last talk. A uh, few bug fixes when they come up, things like that. Um, not, not too many uh, like new features as of yet. Uh, they are working on uh, on a new uh, um, I forget what the name of it is. LTI. Yeah, <laughs> LTI, but the, I forget what they call it. Uh, oh, an, an LTI, yeah. basically an LTI. Yeah. Yeah. KAF, yes, KAF. Thank you. Kelter application. Yes, Kelter application framework. Um, and uh, it's an LTI tool, so so it's it's working to replace the Sakai specific uh, integration with an LTI based tool. A lot of educational tool or uh, you know LMS tools are heading that way. Um, so the LTI integration will actually integrate with the hosted uh, account on a, or a hosted application on. Their server, you'll just bring it in via LTI, and then uh, we'll work with them to get a, a, a CK editor plugin to uh, work, so that way you can just select your uh, your audio, and video, and picture files directly from uh, CK editor, kind of as it is now that you can uh, with the integrated uh, Sakai tool. So, so we're, we're we're transitioning away from the actual built-in Sakai tool um, to an LTI tool. Um, and like I said, uh, many bug fixes over the last year. Uh, JavaScript, uh, front end, kind of. Uh, kind of things. Um, and if you haven't seen it before, this is the, uh, this is the, uh, the basically the main interface. Um, you have uh, a site library which is uh, holds all of the media for a site. Um, you have collections which you can break your uh, your media into different, you know, different groupings. So and then of course. Permissions on all of these can be set. So, so if you wanted a private uh, collection just for you or for a user, um, you can do that. Uh, you can have a site-specific uh, thing so for collections. In My Media, My Media is specific to the user that's logged in. It just as it says, right? So My Media holds all of the user who's logged in media. So that makes it easier to transfer. You know, you can move a thing or copy things from My Media to a collection or a site library. Or whatnot. So, so it's all right here. You can set the uh, all of the uh, the naming and everything like that. So, so when you log in and uh, click the uh, the Kaltura tool, Media Gallery is the default name. Um, for it, you'll you'll come to a screen like like this, similar to this. Um, installing is rather easy. It's actually one of the easier uh, easier tools to uh, install. Um, it's just a, I, I don't want to say plug and play, but but it's similar to that. Plug it in, you know, you build it, deploy it, whatnot, put it in there, and then there, there's a few less kind of property settings that you have to uh, do, and we'll uh, we'll go over that. Um, we've created a, a a detailed README that gives you a nice, uh, you know, a nice set of instructions for you to do it. You have to uh, you know build obviously build the tool. Um, if you want to and integrate it with the with the uh, CK editor, um, we, we give you instructions, and actually we have a small script that will uh, do a lot of the uh, the integration in the CK editor for you. Um, so that way you'll have a nice button to select uh, things. Um, yeah, basically add the more file to your uh, installation, put your filter server keys and kind of properties. I'll give you an example of those, and then uh, add JavaScript file to the portal. So so we have a script that will copy JavaScript file to the portal and then to uh, resources for you. Um, because there's just a little bit of JavaScript that needs to go into the portal code um, to help. And then uh, you can optionally enable the CK editor. And the source is always uh, located in the community. It's under uh, Unicon's msub. See that? Um, I, if you don't know how, uh, how Sakai, uh, essentially how Sakai subversion uh, works for some of the tools, you have branches, maintenance, Branches, tags, which are they're cut from, you know, well in this case from trunk, but but they're they're a, they're a specific set. Um, they don't change. So so once we cut a tag, that code's stable, solid, and um, that. so so we recommend that you actually use use a tag. And you can see that uh, that as, as we uh, progress and add features and bug fixes and whatnot, we create new tags, and uh, and their their date. Um, their date uh, aligned, basically. So 2014-05, which is May, 22. Uh, so so the last tag we cut was May 22nd, uh, 2014. It fixed uh, a couple of our resource error, JavaScript errors that we were uh, getting um, because without sending uh, the side ID or something like that, it was 
Um, but 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 as you can see, we, we, we cut tags as we add new features. So we we, we do suggest that you install the latest uh, the tag um, from from the uh, from the repository. And trunk trunk is uh, basically the latest code. Um, now caution, there may be some you know obviously some features that haven't been tested in there. Um, some features that obviously you know may still have bugs and whatnot. So so. Um, our suggestion would be just to uh, stay away from trunk and go with the, the latest tag if you would like that. Yeah. Now, now has is anybody is anybody actually using Kaltura in there? Uh, um, if when did we do that? Uh, make the changeover from database to. Oh, they were from the database to putting yeah, that code. About that was year. yeah, about a year and three months ago. Yeah, just before the last conference. Yeah. Conference. Yeah, if you're on uh, yeah, I forget which uh. Which tag that actually was? It might be. I think it was going mm -hmm. just after that last two nine one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was this one right here. If you're using anything uh, before this tag right here, um, you're using the Sky database to store permissions and uh, and settings and things like that. Well, after this tag, we 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 did a lot of work to uh, now it transfers the permissions and the, and the settings and everything for collections and and things to the Sky or to the uh, Kaltura server. So those two data, Kaltura database tips aren't used anymore in Sakai, so further reducing the load on the Sakai database. Now all the permission settings and everything, which I'll show you later, um, now they're all stored on the uh, Kaltura server rather than in Sakai. So anything from, yeah, yeah I believe uh, the 2013-408 tag down has that new uh, stuff. And if, if you are using an older one and you start up with the, the new tab, a newer tag. There, there is a script that will convert all of that for you. It'll take, it'll take those uh, settings in the database and move them to uh, the Kaltura machines. Full screen. All right. Features. Well, yeah, works with two uh, Sakai two six plus as most. All of you probably are running a version of T6 code by now. <laughs> we, we do suggest 10 when it comes out in the next day or two, but that's how it goes. Um, upload uh, media directly to Kaltura. So like I said, you know, you're not storing the media anymore on your Sakai server. You're storing the media on the Kaltura server. So now it takes off that, or it takes the, uh, that stress off of your server and puts it onto a Kaltura server. Uh, collections, um, organizing content. Like I said, you can create collections in that site, in that Kaltura site. So, if you wanted to put like lesson, like lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, or whatnot, and then you have pictures and things like that, uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, user collections, private collections, things like that. Uh, permissions, um, permissions here, uh, just like a, just like a regular Sakai tool, permissions. Um, you can select it for you know instructors or students or TAs or whatnot, just like uh, just as in any other uh, Sakai tool. And editing video, um, that was one of the new features that we put in a little while ago. Now you can actually edit uh, edit videos right within the Kaltura tool. Um, you can clip them. You know you can uh, make little snippets, things like that. Uh, edit it. You know sliders and things like that. Um, we'll demonstrate that in a little bit. That used to be done through a flash widget. Yeah. Now oh, it yes. actually is. That, so this is one of the things we're about to see before there aren't a lot of ton of new features this year. It's mostly just improvements to the existing features. So one of those improvements is switching from a flash-based video editor with, to a fully, uh, you know, fully productionized just the term that we tend to use. But essentially, just think of it as it's been tested at this point. Uh, HTML5 JavaScript video editor. So it's, more, it works in more environments, works on tablet. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that, that, that's probably the biggest thing because Flash support on iPads and you know iPhones and most uh, Android tablets is basically non-existent. I mean, you can't, you can't really use Flash on any of those. So, so yeah, now you can edit it right from. Yeah. yeah, there are a bunch of, I think we have another slide for this later, but in this case we don't. Uh, we have a bunch of other improvements to the player itself to improve the HTML5 support. So it, it, it used to essentially try to always do the Flash video player first and then fall back to HTML5, but now so many things support HTML5 video that essentially inverted that 
Um, so it's, it's going to do HTML5 first if the browser supports it only fall back to Flash if it cannot do the yeah. HTML5 video. Yeah, I'll show you a demo video on an iPhone now where it's, it used to not play on iPhones because it was Flash based. Now it's an HTML5 based player. It plays on iPhones and iPad, iOS devices. <clears throat> Um, as I uh, alluded to before, um, now in the CK editor, um, we have a handy dandy little uh, button here, right here, the Kaltura button. Um, so now you click that, uh, we'll pop a window, obviously not this giant, giant reference, but you know, but, but, but up we'll uh, pop a window with all of the, the media that you can select to actually put in right directly within the, uh, right within the CK editor. So, you know, you just select a MP4 or JPEG or whatnot, select it. It'll go right up there into your your editor wherever your cursor is at. So, so it's nice, easy, right there. Works with CK editor. We also have an SDK editor uh, version. Also, it's within the, the code. Uh, media item metadata storage. Um, like I said, uh, we used to store that stuff right on the Sakai database, um, but now with the newest versions. Um, all of that stuff is now stored on the Kaltura server. So it eliminates the need for those. There, there used to be two tables in, Sakai da in the Sakai database for Kaltura permissions and such. Now they aren't needed. Um, and the way to edit those now is right here. So, so for entries, entries which are media items, and then you, there's also collection permissions that you can uh, edit permissions on. This is for an entry here. You can see um, it's just, uh, it's kind of cryptic. Here it's just the site ID, gives you the site ID there, and then and then tells you which playlist, which is you know a kind of a, a collection point, and then which one it is. I mean it's kind of it's kind of cryptic, so I wouldn't uh, suggest editing there. You'll have you'll have uh, the ability to edit um, edit permissions right within the item, so you don't have to you know, know any cryptic. Uh, so um, so that's just uh, that's a new feature too. The main benefit for something like this, would, or the reason why we implemented this feature in the first place, and this was brand new last year, and now it's been tested and improved and sort of productionized, as we're again to use that term, um, is that within those categories, you can actually go in as, say, an administrator, maybe a librarian or somebody like that who controls content, and go in and modify that category, the category there, if, if Bob will point sort of the general up to the category area. That's actually a site ID. Yeah, I know site ID yeah. and Sakai are always really long and funny looking, so don't worry about that too much. Essentially, the, the core message is that if you take a site ID, copy it from your browser, and then you paste it into this list in Kaltura's interface, it will automatically add that media item into that site. So it's, it's essentially allowing the administrator to not have to go into every single site where they want to put a video. So they can go to each video item, they can either add it to a category from the video entries themselves, or they can go into an entry like this and add it specifically to an individual category. Because you can put a lot of categories there, not just one. They only have one in our example, but it could be 100. So they could just get a big list of all the sites that they need to have that video placed in other paste those site IDs, and then it'll just appear the next time someone looks at the site. Yeah. Oh, and uh, just so you know, this is, this is part of the Kaltura uh, Kaltura that's, dashboard. That's this Kaltura isn't actually in Sakai. This is actually part of. Uh, if you log into your account, Kaltura, uh, this is this is part of that interface. This is not in Sakai, so you'd actually have to have a log. Usually, few account. people have this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> only only one or two people at your institution. I mean, like usually a manager or uh, you know a head librarian or a media librarian or something. Yeah. In this red box. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's yeah, yeah, that's why. Because yeah, I just know. Uh, because here, yeah, I, I knew I had a slide for this, but but uh, this is what it looks like in the Kaltura, in the Kaltura to, or the Sakai tool. Right. This is the permission. This is what the permissions look like. So you check it there. You can see, it's just check boxes. And here, you know, hidden and uh, I forget what the there, but anyway, it's reusable and it's shareable or something like yeah. that. I forget. But these permissions correlate to that. The tag correlates to. Uh, we don't have the tag entry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And then uh, description, title, and whatnot. So driver.jpg, driver.jpg. 
on that. So, so this is what you actually see. This is what you actually see in the Sakai tool itself, and this is what appears. Um, by default, when we use a video and add it to a collection, it's um, checked off as private. And if a professor has, say, 30 films for their course, they have to go into each one and change that. Is there a way to do that? As you know, you select the Maybe 30. A I don't think like, like a bulk change. Yeah. Like a bulk change. I don't. It's one today. Yeah, I'm sure. But we yeah. do have a setting so you can decide if you want it to be public or private by default. Yeah. So you can right. flip that setting so that all, all the videos are private added. by default. Right. So you can flip the setting so that it would all be public by default. But if that's not what you're hoping for, you're yeah, hoping they have to go yeah. each item. Bulk editing item. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, that does that's not exist yet. yet. And we've also asked um, if uh, there's a way to sort. The, the films in a collection. Right now, they're all date sorted. Yeah. Um, so essentially, the date they were added to the collection, which is it generally meets the majority of use cases. But you're right; it's, it's not. There isn't like a sort button at the moment, that, at least in this um, integration. Okay. I'm not yeah. sure if that's the next. The next integration. Yeah. The difference between the current integration and the next integration is all Kaltura products are um, headed towards a. Uh, Kaltura application framework, LTI-based integration, um, at least within our LMS extensions. And um, so essentially, the user experience in Sakai for all of your faculty, staff, or even students, if you're letting them upload content as well, uh, so that you can turn on or off. In the future, that will all revolve around my media. And rather than a collection, right now, you upload to a site library or upload to a collection. And Kaltura knows who you are because that data is being passed through to our at the console, right. and so that ultimately gets kind of put in the my media area. But um, in the future, everything will kind of revolve around the my media area, and you will be able to sort by a date added, uh, type of content. There's many different sorting methods. Name. Yeah, name. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Whether or not you published it or not, uh, any yeah. different sorting features there. Yeah, yeah like I'll limit to the KF LTI integration. Just so, I, so you know, that, that's Will. He's actually from Kaltura, so <laughs> he's just a very warm. Yeah, yeah, he's just yeah, yeah. Have a reason to be here. Uh, uh, like we uh, said before, the clipping and trimming tools. Uh, now you have the ability to uh, to clip a clip a, a video to so only use a specific section and whatnot. So you know, draggable draggable bars, or you can set the time via. All right. This is a piece that was mentioning that it's HTML5 based instead of Flash based. Yeah, yeah. It's not HTML5 based, so now you can do it right within your tablet and whatnot. So you can do a, you know, you can set your integrations there, set in, set out. You know, add a site library, so that way that site library. Otherwise, it goes to my media. Yeah, whoever's clipping it that way, to their my media. Yeah, yeah, to their my media, and then you have to transfer it over, or else you can just put this one over to the site library. So, so here you can see uh, it's yeah, it's nice. It's got a nice, uh, nice ability, N nice usability, basically. So anybody, even somebody like me, can uh, clip a video. That checkbox at the bottom says add to site like that makes a copy or yeah. a derivative of that. It makes a reference yeah. to it, yeah, because there's still just one version of it. It's just yeah. visible in two places. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, because it it adds it to your my media, but it'll also yeah. Yeah, create a reference to it in that site that you're currently in. And use a technology term. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So Makes a not, link to it. It's not creating another file. No, 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 no just one. Yeah. I've got a question about oh, that. If, 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 it, if it is just <clears throat> saving the, the index for the start and the end, why does it take so long before, after you actually create a clip, uh, it, it, it actually takes. Um, a confusingly long time before the, the clip appears in the site. So we, we've had some, some people actually reporting, I tried it, it didn't work. I tried it again, it didn't work. And then a minute later, I have four versions of the same thing. I'm going to punt that one to our uh, calendar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm actually at the fuzz right now on which one I believe. I, I, 
It's either clipping or training. One or the other does create. I want to say it's clipping that creates an entirely new entry. I can't remember, although uh, one or the other creates a new entry. The other one just simply uh, uh, cuts off the yeah, entry. Yeah, it's in place. Yeah, yeah. in place. But it's it new. Yeah. So the clipping is the new one, and um, if it is clipping, it is uh, you know there is encoding happening on the back end for it. You know who knows how long that video was, um, so that could be a portion of it. For me, uh, I'd have to go ask our developers the other reason, but there might be a, a, a delay happening with the caching between uh, the Comfort system and the Sakai integration when that happens, which is not going to be an issue in the future with the LTI integration yes. because. That's going to be powered on our system, and we'll know exactly what's going on. But uh, I can get back to you. Okay. This uh, a new, another uh, relatively new feature is you can add directly to a collection from my media and site library. Uh, previously, what you had to do is copy it from my media to site library, and then copy it from site library to a collection. Now you can go directly from my media to a collection. Just that, just circumvents, you know, have that, that extra step of added to the site library, then added into a collection. Now you add it to a collection, and it gets added to the site library if you add it to a collection. So, so just kind of a, yeah, made that a little easier. Usability improvement, really. Uh, ability to upload directly to my media. Previously, you had to upload it to a site, and then it showed up in your my media. So now it's associated with the site and my media. Now you have the ability to just, hey, I just want this in my media for use, you know, wherever I want to use it. So, so again, it's kind of circum, you know, you chop it up the middle band. Yeah, you just have to upload it to the site library and delete it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Now you don't have to delete it from your site library. Because again, it really is just links to different areas. It's not actually creating multiple copies. Yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. <laughs> one copy, but it's just visible in different places. So, exactly. Um, the, as, as we alluded to, HTML5 uh, tablet and phone playback. I have a little, uh, short little demo that I will uh, show you for that um, using an iPhone. And with the network connection here, I already pre uh, preloaded it so that way we didn't have to wait for it. To <laughs> so it's, uh, hopefully, we'll get some sound here too. Well, once the video, sure. So yeah, you can see it's just a. In a, that, that's in a browser. It's just uh, the uh, Safari browser on the iPhone. Um, I just went to a Sky site and uh, that had Kel or Media Gallery installed, went to Media Gallery, and uh, and just uh, played a video. Right. It's the Safari iPhone emulator. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, I use the emulator uh, from the developer's tools to uh, do that, just to make a screenshot. Will that you know. work the same way on tablets? Yep. yep. Right. Just bigger. Yeah, yeah, you can see uh, here. This is a this is a screenshot from it. It's just the actual site in a in a Safari on an iPhone, well, iPhone simulator. But yes, um, so, so you get the entire. Uh, yeah, we've tested on Android tablets and iPhone, uh, iPad. Does it work in all browsers? Um, well, it, it should work in all the normal. Definitely, browsers. yeah, yeah Certainly definitely the built-in ones. I mean, if you pull yeah. down like Opera or some yeah. other. Dolphin or any of the random yeah. other mobile browsers. <laughs> we only test the built-in ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We test the same. It may work. It should yeah. theoretically work, but I, we didn't actually try it. Yeah. For, for iOS, I know I tested it on Safari and the Chrome 
uh, that you can download for it. And then on a, a Nexus tablet, I, uh, I tested a Chrome and a Firefox. So, and I do know it, uh, it works on those. And those are kind of the 99% users. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, you may get a case of an app or something like that. Just tell them to use it. <laughs> yeah. But but it's HTML5, but technically if it supports HTML5, yeah, it should work. Back. It should work. So. Yeah, I mean generally speaking, what we found is if, if you can play HTML5 video on YouTube or Vimeo, this will work. Yeah. If you can't play YouTube or Vimeo ones, then this is also not going to work. Okay, so uh, now, uh, let's see, how much time do we have? Yeah, we got a couple eight minutes. minutes, you have enough time. Yeah, yeah, good. Just to make sure. <laughs> okay, so, uh, and if you don't know, uh, we do have a demo site on, uh, on our uh, on our site, unicod.net. It's just kaltura.unicod.net. Um, unfortunately, we don't have Apache in front of it, so you got to put the port yeah, in yeah, and port. slash portal, but, but uh, and it'll be, a, it, uh, the, the slideshow's linked on lanyard, so if you do, it'll the, be a slideshow on lanyard. This is also Sakai 10, by the way. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I just uh, upgraded it uh, last week to uh, Sakai 10. So. so if you haven't seen the uh, the new Sakai 10, I'll skip. And again, I would uh, I would definitely um, yeah, suggest you uh, upgrade it to a <laughs> strong recommendation. Yes, yes, strong, very, very strong recommendation. So we can create an account there, or yep. we create an account? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, yep, all you have to do. Just log in. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, just uh, just go to new account right here, and then uh, just create a new account. Just like on um, any of the Sakai kind of okay. yep. yep. That way you can play. If if you don't have Kaltura installed on any system without development environment or anything like that, feel free. Create an account. Create a couple of sites. Um, upload some uh, the media there. We do we do randomly not randomly but we do occasionally. Reset the site. Yeah. You have to delete everything. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So what do you think there that you can't afford to lose? For Kaltura, what kind of um, reporting can you run on like files and like what they can access? I think you're really looking for like when media is accessed. We can. Yeah, activate. because um, we have Camtasia Media Server and like for Relay, and we have so many videos on it, and we have no idea how many people can use. And then. The CIO is like, we don't want to buy new hard drives. <laughs> right, sure. I'm not going through 8,000 videos. <laughs> right, now there's actually pretty good tools. Um, they'll give you essentially usage graphs, uh, just sort of general usage graphs of all the content in your account so you can see how much people are, are using your okay. culture content in general. But you can also take all of those and filter them down to specific items or specific, um, even specific systems. So, like, for example, let's say you're using this with Sakai, but also with Drupal. Or some other some other system on Canvas, WordPress, whatever. Um, you can actually filter it by the system. So you can say, I just want to see what my WordPress activity is, what this kind of activity. Um, and then because of the new categorization stuff we've started doing, you can then say, I want to see just the usage in a specific category. And that in, in a category, in our case, we map a category to a course. So you can then say, oh, well, it's usage is just like for a single course. And you have to know when you're the admin that the category and the course are mapped. Because yeah. it won't say course, it'll just have the category yeah. and that ID. But as long as you know that, you can actually get decent stats even, even from that level. So it, it's, it's pretty good. Pretty okay. good about, about giving you information on usage. That way, if you map and you just delete things on screen. Yes. <laughs> it actually it actually Sorry, makes Sorry, I was getting excited. I'm sure they do. <laughs> Our faculty got mapped when you leave stuff intentionally. Yeah. <laughs> Randomly, it was even sense. worse. Right. We did warn you about this a year and a half ago. <laughs> At least 10 emails since then. Still. But yeah, I just want to point out a few things. Uh, permissions, it's just, you know, we use the, the same permissions uh, style as any other tool, so you can select. You know, we're zooming <laughs> this interface in a little bit so that you can oh. see it in the back, so don't worry about the scrolling. That wouldn't be in a normal view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's such a combined with the zoom. Yeah, yeah, it's like huge. I don't. 
complexity and everything huge on my screen like this. Yes. You can talk about the permissions. Uh, I know how can I enable and disable the um, Petra tool for sideways, but since you have an Petra icon in the CK editor, is there any way you can enable and disable Petra icon for sideways? Oh, not right now. Um, our sort of general thought is that if, if you if you want users to actually use media, that they probably have it on across you know, on a system that works across the entire campus. Is it, so you want it, you want essentially the ability to say no so culture icon. Right they have a for they call one consortium, so each school has a different name, so if one school only wants to culture like the other, I have to disable for the other schools. Only one school. So okay. I know how to control the site-based culture to itself, but I don't know even you have the like I said, you have a culture icon in the CK editor, so I don't know how can I enable the same. I mean, to be honest, the, the we all the all the feature requests come from the users of the system, and nobody. I mean, this is one of the nifty things about conferences: is the <laughs> first time anybody's ever suggested that that I that I know anyway. Um, so that's that's a good feature request. Yeah, so uh, collections, like I said, you know, you have uh, collections over here with uh, different you know, media. Uh, so you can show those. Uh, you can do a search here. Sorry for the terrible scrolling. But yeah, you can, you, you can do a search for uh, pictures or media that are in that collection or whatnot. Um, so those are collections. And then uh, my media essentially is just a giant collection for your. Uh, <laughs> Gotta wait out here. All load up here. <laughs> uh, hey, there we go. All right, cool. Yeah. So, so essentially, my media is just basically one giant collection for you and your stuff. So, so any uh, any videos that you own, you know, or or uh, pictures or anything that you own are gonna be here. Um, and of course, it's paginated. As you can see if I scroll over here, uh, it's paginated and whatnot. So, so you can uh, scroll through and uh, select and uh, you know do whatever you need to with them. This is an unusual case. It's just we have like 580 items. This yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have a uh, 500. Uh, I don't know. If you can that or not, but yeah, 570 items. So it takes a while for it. So you said in the live media, you would be able to sort that by title. Event, uh, eventually, yes. Within the next version. Yeah, basically, yes. In the current version, not yet, but in the next version, yes. Yeah. That's essentially uh, by date. It was currently up on. And then, of course, the site library is uh, the same thing here. Um, so here's that uh, video that I played. Um, clipping, um, if you you can set the set the permissions also to allow a user to uh, clip clip media and do do that. So so if so if you have a video you don't want to be touched or edited, you can uh, you can actually edit out that or uh, change that permission, and then they wouldn't be able to clip it. Yeah, essentially, I can, uh, you know, I can drag it, you know, to drag it to wherever I want, and then yeah, okay. 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 Oh, okay. you know demos, you know, you <laughs> always think about small things, right? <laughs> but but as you can see here, I can uh, I can actually go in here and change it. You know, if I wanted to start at ten, you know, ten three thirteen. Well, yeah, obviously. Okay. Change it first here to you know, 10. <laughs> Change it here to 8. Or probably 10. There you go. And then uh, you can see it actually changes here if you if you add it here. Or else you can also drag. Drag, drag the weight. Yeah. I'm definitely over time here, so. Yeah, so I'll just show you. Uh, you know, see, so just drag it. Drag and drop to, to wherever you want to. You know, say you're in and out, and then if I select site, add site library, it'll add it to the site library as well. So I'll just do that real quick. And then uh, you can do replace or save. Replace replaces the original the original video with that clipped version. That's the trimming. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the trimming. It'll replace it. Or if you click save, it'll save a new copy and keep the original. Right. So in this case, I'm going to click save. And just wait for this slow conference. There, yeah, exactly. <laughs> slow conference uh, network uh, connection there. And, and, and like you said, uh, you know, cache, it takes a while to actually transcode. So it didn't look like it did it, but it is doing it in the background, and eventually we'll, uh, we'll show up. 
your my media and then the site library since I clicked add the site library. So that's just a quick demo uh, for you. Uh, any quick questions? Since we're over time, we'll yeah. be happy to answer any questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feel free to uh, come on up while the, the next presenters are getting ready, or if you see us out there, yeah, uh, feel free to ask questions. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs>